Nam, day three. I'm over at the rather discreet Antelope Audio booth, and my voice is wrecked, so I'm toning it down mm. with a bit of reverence for Antelope Audio with Brendan. It is an honor, Jason. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, sir. Right, one of my favorite things that you guys do is the Zen Tour. What's Great. this? This is the long-awaited update to Zen Tour, one of our most successful interfaces to date. This is uh, employing our newest technology called Synergy Core, which is um, FPGA processing combined with DSP processing. So hence the term Synergy, because we're mixing it up. We have two FPGA processors controlling four DSP chips in this device. Uh, we have uh, the, the same four uh, instrument inputs and discrete preamp outputs. These are the same discrete preamps that are in the Orion Studio, so you get rack mount quality in a portable device. Uh, we are also the only company putting out guitar reamp outputs. They simulate the uh, guitar coil and the right impedance for proper uh, reamping later. So you can go rent the most expensive amp in the most expensive studio in an hour and a half hour. <laughs> exactly, so what you want. But also for synth guys, I mean, you can plug your synth straight in there, get it out to something really random and, and wild and start so really Roland playing combo, with it. Yeah. You know it, you know it. Um, yeah. So that's good. So you've got also analog uh, outputs here yeah. as well on the, on the D-sub. The They're DC coupled, so you can play old analog synth signals. That one hertz signal can travel through there. If you don't have DC coupled outputs, you can't uh, control those synths. And um, yeah, so as you see, we have, uh, we have 124 dynamic range on the inputs, uh, 127 on the outputs. And then we have a separate DAC for the monitor control. Um, that is rated at 130. We also have eight channels at 48K through the ADAT. Uh, we are always giving at least two forms of connectivity. So we have USB 2 and Thunderbolt 3. No, I love it. And I love the form factor of this. And it's, again, typically with Antelope, it's, it's well-built, solid. But obviously the audio is is going to be pristine, right? I mean, yeah. it's going to be amazing. It's for um, quality in a desktop. It's for the traveling musician. Obviously, yeah. you're on the road by yourself or with the band. You want to hook up in the green room or at the hotel room. Uh, also, for home studio enthusiasts, you want to make the quantum leap to pro audio. Just yeah, one device, yeah. retailing at 1995. 1995, and I think that's that's the that's the wonderful thing. Is that U.S. dollars? Yes. Okay, do you know the euros? I think it's the same in euros. <laughs> same in euros, so, yeah. so 1999. And it is going to be a piece of kit that you can put in your studio, yeah. capture that audience, and it'll, it'll grow with your need. But if you just need that, it'll do everything for you. And you're going to want to pass this down to your grandchildren. So to get one now, <laughs> get two now, put one in the box and leave it, and then you know sell it for about 50000 in about 10 years. Exactly, that's yeah. what you want. Yeah. Brendan, thank you very much for sharing that Bless with your me. your heart. Thank hey, you. you guys are awesome. <laughs> Check it out, Zentor, the newest.